Okay guys, so we're in a cool area, um, just kind of a couple hours south of Regina, Saskatchewan. I'm not going to tell you what it is, we're going to go over some of this area in a little more detail later on. Right now I'm going to show you my shot, um, that's kind of why I'm here, so, um, and I thought I'd come explore this area. I was here probably 15 or 20 years ago, give you a sense of how long ago I've <laughs> checked this area out. It's, uh, I saw it as a kid, it doesn't disappoint pretty cool so here's the shot I have you saw me working on it already um, these two stone structures are kind of my subject the issue is this these trees are kind of just encroaching in the frame so um, I included this one and I worked hard to kind of cut off this guy um, and then you can see my tripod is really low and I'm just catching this group of flowers here here Kind of these are and then that's really all the composition is there's a sun star um, it's already set now um, but when I was shooting there was a sun star right here and I'm not sure if we're gonna get much color looks like the sun's already kind of setting over here you're no way you're gonna see that it's blown out um, a really heavy bank of cloud um, there was a little bit of um, color in some of the clouds earlier so um, hopefully it all blends nicely. There is not a breath of wind today, so as you can see, these flowers are really close. So there's the there's the front edge of my lens. There's the flower. So it's literally about four inches, maybe three or four inches away. So all I do um, when I have these kind of flowers that are really small, um, I use that wide angle distortion. Um, I max out my wide angle lens at 50 millimeters, and you place those flowers near the bottom, but even in the corners, make them really big, and um, really anywhere the bottom doesn't really matter. But and really makes those really appear really huge. That distortion. So one of the issues you have when you put that stuff that close to the front of the lens is sharpness. There's no way I could focus, you know, on these rocks and the flowers in one shot. So you have to focus stack. Thankfully, you can see just there is not a breath of wind. These leaves aren't moving, flowers aren't moving. This little guy right here, it's got a small shake. Um, we'll see. I hope it. Uh, I hope it blends. Um, I had to take about, I think, eight to nine shots to get everything sharp. There's an exposure blend in there too to get the sun star. And then another exposure for the sky. Um, I'm close enough to these rocks where they're big enough in my frame, so there's no perspective blending. <laughs> all in all, fairly complex shot, but I'm happy with it. So I'm going to throw it up there right now. You can check it out and let me know what you think. And I'm back. <laughs> um, the sky kind of went off. Um, it's tough to see from where I am, but see right here. Maybe you can see. There we go. So now I'm going to take a separate exposure for this guy. I'm going to see which one I prefer in post. And the one that you see right away is the one that I chose. Um, I'm not getting all that color in my composition, just so you know. I set up my comp, the idea that I would get some more overhead clouds.
initially my plan actually was to have these two, one, two rocks with some nice sky over top. And it actually happened. So we'll see which one I prefer when we get into post. I mean, you really can only keep one, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you both because I think they're both unique and different. One with a sun star and a little bit earlier with better light. And then the other one, you know, with some nice color in the sky, a little bit flatter light. So let me know which one you guys prefer. Anyways, so you'll see that at the end, you'll see both of them together with all the settings and everything that I shot. So um, everything was shot the same way with the one I just took, just so you know that. Focus stacked, probably eight or so shots. And then a little more bracketed exposures for the sky just because there's a few different gradients. It's quite, quite bright. And then as you get closer to the rock and to the uh, um, to this side over here, it gets darker. So I took three bracket exposures to help me blend those that exposure in so you'll see that one and the other one right away here so but first I want to talk to you guys about this place um, negative human impacts on the landscapes that we enjoy um, you can see there are a lot of people that have really enjoyed this spot um, Got some color in this one. Oh, nice. Lucy. People are good at coloring pictures too. So, now, not to rag on Saskatchewan too much, this is a problem everywhere in the world. Um, it's just too bad that it has to happen this way. Um, I would encourage everyone that watches my channel to leave it better which means like take a garbage bag with you pick up garbage when you're there i'm about to go to that right now and if you can't do that if that grosses you out which is fine sorry the sky is distracting me <laughs> anyway if that grosses you out just leave it as you found it let someone else enjoy it um this is a big landscape photography, like, I know it's not a big problem, but finding a composition without any, <laughs> without any um, graffiti in the rock was impossible. Um, that's not the big issue. The issue is that now people aren't gonna be able to come and enjoy this place for what it is, a natural wonder in Saskatchewan. And there are very, very few places in Saskatchewan that are as unique as this. Unfortunately, this is a party spot. I've seen several empty beer cans and quite a bit of garbage. So um, I would encourage you to bring a bag with you. And when I say leave it better, that's what I mean. I mean, pick up what people have left behind. Leave it better for the person that's coming in after you. So, I'll leave you with that message. I hope it resonates. Sorry. And I'm really curious, why is it always bad beer? Like, <laughs> oh man, always bad beer. Oh, and Subway. So anyway, guys, just leave it better. If you can't leave it better, don't make a mess. This is our only planet, the only one we have. Just take your stuff, put it in the trash, and please, please, please don't carve your name, your Instagram handle on a rock. A hundred years from now, nobody cares about Lucy. I'm not even sure anyone cares about Lucy right now. So leave it better. That's it. That's this video. It's a wrap. Throw those two images up right now. And let me know which one you like best in the comments. Anyways, cheers, guys. Thanks for watching.